I previously spoke about megachurch pastors who make up a council of ministers who pray for and support President Donald Trump. This has become particularly noteworthy because the percentage of evangelicals that voted for Trump and the percentage that still support him is very high. It's estimated after the last election that 81% voted for him. Certainly numbers like that get close to the truth when you talk about white evangelical Christians. So the problem persists. The confusion of gospel with the president's agenda and with America itself as a nation. Reinhold Niebuhr was one of the great theologians at mid-century. He was also a critic of the rising evangelism of the famous Billy Graham. I want to be very careful about what I say because I have great respect for the late Billy Graham. I taught as an adjunct professor at the Billy Graham Center at Wheaton College, where I taught mission and Christian unity or ecumenism. I respect him morally. I respect his character. I respect how he conducted his life. I respect his humility, his graciousness. But in saying this, I want to also say that there was something deeply flawed in the kind of evangelism that he made popular and is now the evangelism of the great megachurches and the Charismatics and Pentecostals and other related sects and denominations in our country. So when Niebuhr said that Graham's success depends, and I quote him, on oversimplifying every issue of life, I think he nailed it. Niebuhr also said that Graham fails to address the social dimensions of the gospel. I recently did some videos on the life and witness and beliefs of John Wesley. John Wesley, the great 18th century itinerant evangelist, did not make this mistake. He did not divorce coming to faith in Christ from the social dimensions of the gospel. But Niebuhr finally said that Graham's gospel, as preached in the New York City crusade in the 50s, was a gospel that promises new life, not through painful religious experience, but by merely signing a decision card. I want to quote that again. Graham's gospel, said Niebuhr, promises new life, not through painful religious experience, but by the signing of a decision card. It's that very kind of evangelism that is behind the megachurches, their practices, and now their relationship so comfortable and so open with President Trump and with the leadership of the country that has no interest in the social dimensions of caring for the poor and for those people who suffer in ways that need a response of compassion coming by Christians through the churches and indeed through good government working alongside of the church. For we cannot have one without the other to accomplish the great ends and social dimensions of the good news of Christ on a large scale canvas. This we need, a recovery of a full and whole gospel rooted in the kingdom of God. 